Hey everyone, in this guide we're going to go over all the new things added to the Season 11 Conquest map, including new starts, map events, and everything in between. So let's get started. To start off, let's go over all the starts. Support and ADC have a pretty simple start, they just need to start the purple and green buff, and drag it outward from the purple spawn for optimal clear. This will allow both of them to hit level 2 after the clear. In terms of who starts what buff, I personally haven't really noticed a difference. As a support, I've started both green and purple, and it's been about the same. For solo, you want to start your back harpies, and you're going to clear these by yourself, then you're going to go over to your blue and also clear that by yourself. This will allow you to hit level 2 after the clear. Mid and jungle are going to split the red and speed. Jungle pulls speed to red where they meet the mid laner and double clear. This will also let them hit level 2. It's also important to note that the other speed spawns a bit later than the speed closest to red, so don't be like me and accidentally start the wrong speed because you'll be sitting there for a bit. Wait, what the hell? This didn't spawn yet! Now from here, mid of course goes to mid, and from what I've seen, at least jungle has a couple options. Either you go with your mid laner to mid, or you go to the other speed in harpies. I feel like the later choice is a bit better because it's more XP efficient since you don't have to leave the camp sitting there for a minute. Next up we have something that's being brought back from season 9. This is Indra's Scepter, aka Little Jimmy. Although its delivery is a bit different. Every so often you'll see a meteor hit the ground in one of three lanes. This meteor can only be destroyed by auto attacks, pretty much just like a cage or Kumba's passive. After each hit, a rock will drop out of it, rewarding the person who picks it up 3 XP and 5 gold. Then after it's been destroyed, the last person standing in the circle will be able to grab Indra's Scepter, which lasts for 90 seconds. This Scepter acts as an aura around the user, dealing damage to enemies that come too close. It also gives allies near you HP 5, and it can even heal structures such as your tower or phoenix. A completely new mechanic going into Season 11 is the ability to have mobile shops. These shops are rewarded from killing Cyclops rogues, which will appear as a mini purple circle. These Cyclopses are the same as the ones that drop the speed boost that we've encountered all of Season 10. In Season 11, every other Cyclops will drop a mobile shop, starting at the second Cyclops spawn. The speed boost Cyclopses are still here, they'll just appear as every other one, starting at the first Cyclops spawn. The shot will last for 60 seconds, so be quick. Another completely new mechanic introduced in Season 11 are the teleporters. There are two teleporters on the map that link to each other. One is placed at the old cooldown buff location near Soul Lane, and the other is placed at the old shield buff location near Dual Lane. The teleporters will spawn starting at the 8 minute point, at which beforehand a camp will be guarding it. To teleport, you need to stand at one of the paths for 4.5 seconds, and you will be teleported to the other pad across the map. Do note though that it won't just teleport you standing on the pad, but everyone on it, including enemies. Once you teleport, you won't be able to use it again for 2 minutes, so be smart with it. Another change Season 11 has brought us is to the Fire Giant. Although this one isn't really too big of a change, but there are some differences. For one, the Fire Giant has a new attack which is a beam shot from the sky. This beam will rain down dealing consistent damage for 3 seconds and knocking up anyone in its vicinity. The other change they made to the FG is a structure to the inner side of the pit. The structure is called an effigy and is triggered when the FG reaches 85% HP, in which case it will spawn. Upon destroying this, the Fire Giant takes 15% more damage from all sources for 15 seconds. However, targeting this might slow down the overall damage onto the Fire Giant, so be mindful when choosing to do so. But there is a little trick you can do. Have whoever's taken the FG stand in front of the effigy. This will allow the Fire Giant to hit the effigy and kill it itself. One of the last bigger changes they've made is to the beacon. Typically when you get the beacon it gives gold and XP, as well as giving you and your team a permanent power buff and increased damage to structures. Well thankfully it still does all this, but they removed the titan spawning mechanic and replaced it with global structure damage instead. So now when your team gets the beacon, it will do damage to all frontline towers. However, note that this can do damage to phoenixes, but it cannot kill a phoenix. It can only get them to a minimum of 10% HP. Some other small changes they've made are to the Bastions, where they've increased their overall tankiness, but have also increased their reward from 75 gold to 100 gold. Spirit Totem's also got a bit of a change, where the Red Totem went from 7 to 10% lifesteal, and they also added 10% ability lifesteal onto it. The Yellow Totem now has 5 flat magical and physical pen, in addition to the 5% pen it had before. And finally, they added 2 side hooks onto both side lanes of the map. This is a new spawn for the shield and cooldown buffs, since their previous spawns are now teleporters. But don't worry, the buffs are still in the same lanes. So since this is a guide on just the new conquest changes for Season 11, I wasn't really planning on going over any item changes, however, there is one I want to go over and that's a new Raven Ward. This ward is a flyby ward, meaning it can only be used once per buy, and it is a flyby of an area you send it to. As you can see on my map, you can use this to do things like scope out Fire Giant or any other big objective you think they might be on. I only added this in here because I thought it was pretty cool, and I actually thought it was a really good addition to conquest in general, because you can actually do a flyby of really big areas and set up for that. But in any case, that's going to wrap up the guide. Thank y'all so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you made it this far into the video, then you should be all set for Season 11 Conquest. See y'all in the battlegrounds.